Hello everyone, welcome to my vlog. Today is Wednesday and it's a, <coughs> excuse me, it was a very slow day at work again today. Um, those are getting kind of boring. <laughs> um, my glasses, I'm definitely not liking them. I wish I hadn't have bought them now. Uh, luckily, I'm not out a lot of money because of it, but they won't stay up. They keep sliding down. I uh, think I'm going to adjust the nose pieces, or try to, to keep them from sliding down. But uh, today's vlog is brought to you by the letter F. And here's why. Uh, my topic today on my rant is the how teenagers are not responsible. No, there are not very many responsible teenagers nowadays. And uh, it's brought to you by the letter F because... You know, teenagers now are effed up in the brain, big time. Uh, their morals are so skewed for some reason, and I'm not sure why. Um, but to bring it all into perspective, the reason I say that is because one of my cousins, uh, 17, just had a baby. All right, uh, junior in high school. Uh, will be a junior again unless she does a GED thing or whatever. I don't even know what's going to happen, but um, I just okay. Her parents were, uh, you know, her dad was close to being a teenage dad. Her mom wasn't. She was over eighteen at the time, but her dad was really close. And uh, you know, they the whole time growing up, I know for a fact. That they've drilled into her head don't make the same mistakes we made okay don't do it you know don't uh i'm not gonna say ruin your life because kids are a blessing and you know i wish i had a few of my own to be honest with you but uh you know basically ruin your opportunities not your life but your opportunities that you can have in life by having a kid too early, okay, and trust me, high school with a kid, way too early, high school is tough enough without having that stigma over your head, um, you know, it just, and the th here's the thing, it pisses me off because 90% of the people are hypocritical on this fact, I'm not, I've, she's fucked up from the you know very moment I found out about I'm like that's messed up you know you, you bait, there, there goes any opportunity you ever wanted right there and uh, her grandparents and all this are you know one minute they're oh I'm so ashamed that's not even right blah blah and then next it's the greatest thing that ever fucking happened to them I don't understand that I understand being happy for a baby you know like I said, babies are blessings. But, you know, you don't look down on something and then praise it the next minute. You know, that's not how, that's hypocritical and bullshit, basically. And I can't stand that. I cannot stand hypocrisy, okay? And, um, you know, don't get me wrong. I love my cousin. She's cool. She's great to be around. She's very quick witted, you know, funny. But, something like this, you know, she's not responsible to begin with as case in point her being pregnant at 17, but the simple fact that you know, as smart as she is something as dumb as this, you know, happens, but it's uh, it just ups, you know, really upsets me because you know, she has no goal now, you know um, it was, I don't know. I, I mean, I understand her priorities are different now. I get that, you know. But, it, I don't know. It just, something about it just irks the crap out of me that it's, she thinks it's going to be easy street now. And it's not. Especially considering the baby daddy is 15. Alright. That's, uh... It's not going to be easy street by no means. You know, she, I don't, 
I would not be surprised if her parents aren't the ones raising that baby because she's going to, I don't think she's going to not stay in. You know, I don't think she's not going to want to be a teenager. And it's natural to be that way if you had a kid too early, but you've got responsibilities now. You can't just be a teenager anymore. As a matter you're not a teenager anymore. You know, you're a parent. That's just the way it is, you know. Because of your own callous mistakes, that, you know, you made one mistake and two people have to pay for it. Three if, you know, the parent, the dad stays in the picture. Or mom, for that matter. But, uh, sorry about that. I drove past a cop and uh, didn't want him to uh, pull me over. But, uh, yeah, it's just, you know, you're, you're basically putting your future on two people's back. One who can't even do anything about it. And that's wrong. Okay. Um, rolling a dice on something like that. No. You, you should never... First of all, roll the dice on your future, and second of all, do it with the baby attached. You know, that's just, I don't know. I know none of this made any sense at all to you guys, and uh, I appreciate you sticking around through the rant and allowing me to do this, but uh, I just, I know for, because it didn't make sense to me when I was saying it, uh, but I hope it had a little bit of coherent thought to it uh, if not I apologize I just yeah, I can't wrap my head around it I don't understand how she can take it so lightly you know with the fact that she's a mom now you know and how all up until today at least it's been basically a game for her you know she's oh I'm pregnant but what, what's she gonna do in two months when her friends decide Oh, it's no fun hanging out with her anymore. She's got a kid. You know, she can't go do what she wants to anymore. You know, and that's what I don't think she's understanding. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for staying with me, listening to it. I appreciate you guys sticking around for that whole crazy talk. But, uh, as always, if anything interesting happens, I'll turn the camera back on and let you guys see it. If not, this will be the last time you see me till tomorrow. So, have a good one, everybody.